Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, today I've created a mermaid-y, unicorn-inspired festival look. I really wanted to show you guys how you don't have to be a makeup artist or have a really high level of skill to create a really fun, cool, wearable look. If you're watching me for the first time, I would really, really love it if you would hit subscribe down below so you can catch up with all of my videos every single Monday. And if you want to see how I got this hair and makeup look, then just keep watching. So I'm starting with a clean face, of course, and I'm just gonna pop on some lip balm. This is the Kiehl's Butterstick Lip Treat. Treatment. It has SPF 25, which is amazing if you're going to a festival and you're going to be in the sun. Then I'm just going to take my Too Faced Hangover 3 in 1 spray as a primer. It's literally the most refreshing spray in the world. For my foundation today, I'm using the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. It's a two-in-one product. I really actually like this. I don't wear it that often because it is a higher um, coverage to what I normally like to wear, but I do really like it. And I love the little applicator that it comes with so you can just apply it straight to your face and it's really clean and not messy. I'm gonna give my brush a little spray. This is also a Clinique um, foundation brush, which I love. And it's gonna blend this in. I just think if you are going to a festival or something like that where you're gonna get a bit hot and sweaty. I'd rather have like a fuller coverage makeup just to make sure it is gonna stay on because I feel like the kind of makeup that I usually wear would just like disappear. This foundation is great because it's um, quite high coverage but it's still so radiant. It's amazing. Then I'm going to go in with my Bourjois Blur the Lines Concealer just on my redness and also of course under my eyes for a bit of a highlight um, and also down my nose and forehead. And I'm just going to pat this in with my Beauty Blender which I've dampened with my Too Faced spray. Now I'm going to chisel my cheeks with the Benefit Hoola Quickie Contour Stick. This is a cream contour stick version of the Hoola bronzer. And I'm just blending this in with my Clinique foundation brush. This is honestly one of my most used um, face brushes. I'm gonna take a blush from this palette, which is the Zoeva Sweet Glamour Palette. Look how pretty this is. It's literally like a unicorn mermaid palette, which of course is the look that we're going for, so this is the perfect palette. And I'm gonna take this middle blush here, which is called Ideal Love, and I kind of don't want too much color on the cheeks because it's gonna be quite a colorful look altogether, so we don't really want to overdo it. So just a little bit of this on the apples of the cheeks. I'm just gonna set everything I've done with the Rimmel Insta Fix and Matte Translucent Powder. I don't normally like powdering my whole face, but I do just think if you're going to a festival or some kind of like party, you do need to powder because you want it to stay on. You don't want to take all your makeup with you and be doing like touch up. That's so boring. So we're just gonna go ahead and put this all over the face. Finally, for the base, we're going back into the Zoeva Sweet Glamour Unicorn Mermaid Palette, and we're gonna go in with this amazing icy highlight shade, which is called Interpretation of Dreams, with a fan brush, and this is just like the moment of truth. <gasps> this is when it all happens. And you can just put as much of this on as you want. To be honest, for a festival, there is no such thing as too much highlight. There just isn't. Other side. So now for brows, I want to do a really strong defined brow for this look and I'm using the Giorgio Armani Eye and Brow Maestro in the shade Sand Blonde on this little angled brush and this is basically a little pot of brow gel which I think is like one of the best ways you can get that really strong sharp brow. Let's give this a go. Then I'm going to take some trusty Gimme Brow by Benefit just to set these brows in place. Now we're onto the really fun part, which is eyes, and we're going to be using, drum roll please, the Zoeva Sweet Glamour Eye Palette. This palette is 
amazing. It's literally everything you need for this look. Look how beautiful the shades are. It's unreal. So we're going to start off by taking this white shade, which is called Fuzzy Haze. And I'm literally going to do this all over the lid, like even up to the brow everywhere. Then I'm going to take this shimmery pinky color called Fantasy Principle. Now for the slightly scary bit, we're gonna take the bright blue. Yes, the bright blue. And I'm just gonna work this into the outer corner and the crease. And then finally, just to transition the pink and the blue a little bit, I'm gonna pop a little bit of these two purpley lilac -y shades, kind of on the middle of the eyelid, in between the pink and the blue. For some reason my camera just cut out but basically I applied a little bit of the highlight shade from before um, into the inner corner of my eye to give it that really pretty ethereal look and also a little bit on the brow bone as well. Next I'm going to be taking the Baby Doll Eyeliner by YSL Beauty and we're going to do a wing, or well, we're going to attempt a wing should I say. First of all we're going to draw a little line from the outer corner of the eye in the direction of the end of the eyebrow. Then I'm just going to line my top eyelid and then we're going to join the two together. <sighs> this makes me so nervous. I had to go and do that off camera because that was physically impossible to do um, the way I'm sat right now. I had to get up close to the mirror. But anyway, I've done two winged eyeliners. So I'm just gonna pop on some mascara and I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara because I just really want huge thick lashes, full of volume and full of length. Next we have the other really, really fun part and that is lips. So I'm gonna start by lining my lips. Um, this is the Rosie for Autograph Lip Definer. And I'm just gonna fill in all of my lips with this color to make sure that the lipstick stays on. Then I'm gonna take my Too Faced Melted Liquefied Longwear Lipstick in the shade Nude. Oh no, top that shade. In the shade Melted Sugar. I'm just going to pop this kind of like in the middle of the lips and just kind of pat that out. And then for the finishing touch, which basically makes the whole makeup look, we're going to take the Lime Crime Diamond Crushes Lip Gloss in the shade Acid Fairy. So, just going to pop a little bit of this on just in the centre of the lips and it's literally Oh my god, it's amazing. It just reflects all these different shades of blue and pink. It ties in so well with the eye makeup. I kind of want to put a little bit of this on my eyes just to see what would happen. I'm going to go for it. Let's put a tiny, teeny bit of this maybe in like the centre of the eye makeup. Oh my god, yes! <gasps> yes, yes, yes. So here's the finished makeup look. It's so magical and mermaidy and unicorny, but it's still kind of wearable at the same time. So now I'm gonna do my hair and um, I'm going to curl my hair and I'm gonna take my GHD Soft Curl Tong um, to put some kind of loose, wavy curls into my hair. So I'm basically taking my tong and pointing it downwards and then just wrapping the hair around the tongue. It's really tricky if you have layers but you kind of just have to be patient. And then holding it in place for a while and then just release the curl, give it a little squeeze, even though it's really hot, and let it go. Like that. So I'll do one more to show you and then I'm gonna fast forward. I'd say I take medium sections of hair, so pointing it downwards and wrapping my hair around and then just let the curl go, give it a squeeze. So I'm gonna turn the camera off now, do the rest of my hair and come back once it's done. I've pulled you back a bit so you can see what I'm doing a bit better. I've curled all of my hair. I'm just gonna give it a spray of hairspray. And then all you're going to need are two hair bubbles and two little grips. Basically, we're gonna do some space buns, but we're gonna do some really loose, sexy, messy space buns rather than the ones that are really pulled back and tight. It's so easy. All you have to do is take the top section of your hair about that much and then twist it round like this and then carrying on twisting it round your head 
so you get that. And then you just want to secure it in place with your hair bubble. In fact, you probably could do with having little um, thinner, smaller hair bands than these, but this is all I had. So then you have your bun and you just want to secure it with a grip um, up at the top here. So just secure this to your head. So now I've pinned it up, I just want to kind of release it a little bit. So I'm just gonna pull the hair out. You know, like when you're loosening a ponytail, it's exactly the same thing. Just pull it out a little bit. And then you can also just pull out a few tendrils just to make it look super messy. So there's one, and now I'm gonna do the other side. It's exactly the same thing. And then just securing it to the top of my head. You could totally just leave the hair there, but I'm gonna add in a few tiny little fish plaits. So I'll start with this little piece of hair here. And fish plaits are so ridiculously easy, but they do just look a little bit cooler than a regular plait. But if you can't do a fish plait, then totally just do some tiny, really little, thin, uh, regular plaits. Um, but I'm gonna quickly show you how to do a little fish plait, because it really is so easy. So you just have to separate your piece of hair into two, and then you just take tiny, tiny sections from the outer side of each piece and then cross it over so it joins the next piece of hair and then just carry on doing the exact same thing. It does take a little while, it's kind of fiddly but it is really really easy and it's honestly fine if this looks messy because as you can see the whole point of the hairstyle is that it is super messy. As you can see, this literally takes forever and a day. And then once you've finally got to the end of your plait, instead of putting like a big hefty bobble and ruining the nice plait, just take a little fine tooth comb and back comb the ends all the way up to the plait and this will stop it falling out. And your hair is gonna hate you for this. My hair hates me right now, but it's just a one-off. So this is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and are gonna recreate this for something fun this summer. Please do give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you're new. Thank you so much for watching and as always, I shall see you next Monday in my video. Bye.